You can now create stunning AI videos without spending money on AI tools. Not just any videos, we are talking cinema quality motion that matches the quality of paid tools like Kling and Minimax. That's RAN 2.1 in action, completely free running on my own PC. While everyone else is paying monthly subscriptions, you are about to get the same results for free with unlimited usage. I spent 3 days finding the perfect setup that works even on cards with limited VRAM. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to download and set up RAN 2.1, run this on a lower end hardware with special VRAM trick. Create your first AI video in under 5 minutes and I'll teach you how to write the perfect prompt for best results. So let's get started. First we'll install Pinocchio on our computer which is available at pinocchio.computer. Now this is a very powerful tool for running any AI server. We'll be running Van with the help of this tool. So you just have to go to this home page and click on this download button. And now just search for your operating system and download it. I am downloading it for Windows. So I'll just click on this button. It's just a 90 MB download. And once you have downloaded it, you just have to extract it and then just run the setup. Once you have installed it, just run Pinocchio from the start menu. Once you're on this screen, you just have to go to this discover tab and search for WAN 2.1. So we have this tool and then you just have to click on download and then again click on download. What it will do is it will download the script that would be required to install WAN 2.1. Once you have this screen, you have to click on install. The script will learn and it will install WAN 2.1 for you. And once once installation is completed, you just go to your home screen. So now we have WAN 2.1 version installed and you can see it is a special version which is designed for GPU poor machines with 5 GB plus VRAM. So when we click on this, we'll be taken to this UI. Now there are two versions of this model. Model. One is text to video and another is image to video. First we'll be covering text to video model. So let's click on this. So as soon as you click on it, the script will start. If you are running it for the first time, it might download new models for you as well so that you are able to run. So now two versions in image to video. One is 1.3 billion parameters model and another one is 14 billion parameters model. Now depending on your RAM size, you would want to select the model. If you have a RAM of around 16 GB, you will not be able to run the model of 14 billion size, even the quantized version. So now the application has started for us. Now either you can use this UI here itself or you can click on this pop-up button and it will open up the UI in a browser. I prefer browser, you can run there as well. You have this row here, when you click on this, you can see that it shows what all can you run with the configuration that you have got. So it says that if you have 8 GB of VRAM, you can generate a 480p video with the 14 billion model. And if you have 5 GB of VRAM, you can generate a video of 480p with the 1.3 billion model. And if you have 11 GB of VRAM, you can generate 720p videos with 14 billion model. And you can generate videos up to 8 seconds long, although the recommended length is 5 seconds. Next, we have this setting for configuring the video engine. When you click on it, we are presented with these many options. First, you have to select the transformer model for the text to video generation. So by default, 1.3 billion model is selected and I'll be using this model throughout the video and at the end, I'll also run this quantized version of 14 billion model, which can run on my system because I have 12 GB of VRAM and I have 30 GB of RAM as well. Although I'll not be able to run the 14 billion model because it will require more than 50 GB of RAM. We select this. Now, next is the text encoder model. Now we have two versions of it. One is the 8-bit model and the other is the 16-bit model. I didn't find any difference when I use the 16-bit model. Although the generation time of 16 bit model is quite slower. So we'll be using the 8 bit version here again. Next is attention type. You can leave it as auto because it is an advanced setting. Next, next we have the compile transformer option. You can set it as off, but if you want to turn it on, then you'll have to install WSL on windows, which you can easily 
do by going to app store searching for ubuntu basically it is a way to run linux on windows so you can open this up and then install it that will install linux on your windows and then you can turn this feature on and what it will do is it will increase the generation speed by 50% and it will provide you 30% more frames because this model is better suited to run on Linux. That's why if you install WSL, you'll be able to get better speeds. Next is VAE tilling. So you can set it as auto and then you have this boost. And if you have very low VRAM, you can set it as off, but I am turning it as on. And then you have this profile. If you've got 16 GB or lower RAM, RAM, then you can set it to very low RAM and low VRAM. Not changing it, I am setting it as low RAM and low VRAM, which is 32 GB of RAM and 12 GB of VRAM. And after setting all these, you have to click on this button, apply changes. Click on apply changes, go back to Pinocchio and then click on this terminal. Now, if the new settings that you have applied require newer models to be downloaded, it will download that. So you can see the progress here. Once that is done, it will load the new model which you have selected and once it gives a confirmation here you can go back to your application and you will be able to use it so now once we apply it the model gets loaded which you had selected and that is a one-time activity now when you come back to this application you don't have to do that configuration once again now we are ready to generate our videos we can put in our prompts here and you can see a default prompt is already here so we'll be testing that then you can select the resolution here you can select a 480p 720p so 480p video generations are quite fast especially if we are using the 1.3 billion model next is the number of frames so you can see here it says that 16 frames equal to one second for example if you are looking to generate a video of five seconds then you'll have to set it to 80 if you want a three second video then you can select it to 48 so you just multiply 16 with the number of seconds and you get the frames that you need to set here so by default it says it's 81 so let's set the number of frames to 48 which would uh, give us three seconds of video here and then we'll click on generate now you can see this is the first step which is running which is the encoding step and it takes around 10 to 15 seconds to run the encoding step and now we have the denoising step which is the main step where the prompt gets converted into a video so what i have observed generally is that the entire generation takes around 5 to 10 minutes and the length of the generation depends on the size of the prompt as well as the number of frames that you have selected the generation is completed and it took only 330 seconds let's play it Now to make things interesting, I have created the script with the help of ChatGPT and we'll be copying these prompts from here and we'll paste it in the van 2.1. Another feature it has is that you can enter multiple prompts one by one separated by a new line character. Just press enter and keep on pasting your prompt one by one. We have these four prompts of five seconds each and then we'll click on generate. So it will these videos one by one so the generation is completed and it took almost 2200 seconds to generate this which is 37 minutes so we were able to generate four scenes of around five seconds within 37 minutes which is acceptable if you are generating it on a local mid end graphic card let's try to play the videos that have been generated so this is the first scene where the hooded figure is running away from drones then we have the second scene here it is going on a futuristic bike and you can see the reflection and everything is visible here even with our small 1.3 billion model you can see how good the van 2.1 video generator is and then we have this fighting scene where it is trying to fight with the enforcer in an alley we have the final scene where it is a mid-air shot Although in the prompt, there were a lot more details, but the output which we had got, it's not that good. Let's try to generate the fourth prompt again with the full model and let's see how better it is at generating the video. So we'll switch it to 14 billion quantized version and then we'll click on apply. And once the newer model is loaded, we'll again click on generate. So our video has been generated with the 14 billion model as well and you can see the quality is on another level let's play it the video was generated only for 49 frames which was almost three seconds so it could not cover all the things which were mentioned in the prompts if we generate a longer video of around five seconds i think everything would have got covered 
but if we compare it with the video which was generated by the 1.3 billion model this particular video is on another level now this was the text to video test now let's move to the image to video test for that what we'll do is we'll open a pinocchio we'll click on stop when we click on stop it will remove the model from the memory and now we can run the image to video mode for that we have to just click on this button image to video what it will do is it will load the image to video model for us now the important thing to note here is that the model for image to video is completely different so it might download certain models when you run it for the first time once again there is no smaller model for image to video conversion you'll have to use 14 billion model and will be slower our image to video model is loaded and if you uh, click on this row as we did in the previous model so you will see here that only the 14 billion model is available here it doesn't work with 1.3 billion model our ram we can only run the quantized version of 14 billion model and that too at 480p we'll keep all the settings that we had similar to the previous one we'll select the image so this is the same image that you must have seen in the thumbnail of the video for image to video we don't have to define everything in detail we'll just have to provide what we want the subject in the image to do we don't want a lot of movement here we just want to make this picture appear lifelike just with this prompt we'll click on generate so you can see our video is generated let's play it and it looks exactly what we wanted it to look like we can see the monkeys in the background which are animated as we had asked it to girl is also blinking with a lifelike look now let's talk about the secret sauce that will take your van 2.1 videos from meh to mind blowing i have tested hundreds of prompts and i have cracked the code on what makes this model excel here's the truth most people write terrible prompts and then blame the model. The difference between an amateur video and something that looks professional comes down to how you talk to the AI. Let me show you exactly how to structure your prompts for VAN 2.1. First, you need a clear format. Think of it like this. Main subject, action, scene details, lighting, camera angles and style. Let's break down a winning prompt. An astronaut floats through a zero-gravity space station catching floating water droplets with graceful movements, earth visible through large windows bathed in sunrise glow, shot with a rotating camera that follows the astronaut's path. The magic happens when you describe motion clearly. Van 2.1 builds movement from scratch so you need to tell it exactly what you want. Try phrases like a falcon dives toward the ocean surface, wings tug, then pulls up at the last second with a splash. Another example could be a vintage car cruises down a winding coastal highway, sunlight glinting off its chrome detail. Don't just write a bird in the sky or a car on the road that's asking for boring results. Now here's where we level up. Camera movements. This is what separates the pros from everyone else. Try adding the camera follows for tracking shots slowly zooming into for dramatic focus, drone perspective panning across for sweeping views. Check this prompt. A street musician plays violin in a rainy Paris alley. The camera starts close on her fingers, then smoothly pulls back to reveal the glistening cobblestones and distant Eiffel Tower. Last piece of the puzzle, style and lightning. If you don't tell one 2.1 what look you want, it'll make its best guess and you might not like it. You can go cinematic with film grain and deep contrast, anime inspired with vibrant colors, documentary style with natural lighting or dreamlike with soft focus. For lighting, try phrases like Sunset light casting long shadows across, bioluminescent glow illuminating, harsh spotlight creating dramatic contrast on. Put it all together, a botanist explores an alien jungle carefully collecting glowing plant samples, mist hangs in the air as strange creatures move in the background. The camera tracks alongside occasionally tilting up to reveal massive tree structures Shot in the style of a high budget nature documentary. Look at that result and we have only scratched the surface of what's possible with VAN 2.1.